of the cartoon as opposed to actual follow-up of the mo- r- first yes. movie. It's, it's kind of like, uh, but it followed the same, well, I take that back. It was better than most s- superhero movies at that time because they never really tied together besides like one little thread or so. With this one, you can tell it was a continuation, but they did a complete shift they to did. gear more towards what made them their bread and butter, which was the cartoon. Yeah. Took away all the weapons, which, as a child, I never realized I that. never noticed as a kid. Until, it actually took someone point out, I think, on one of our, our earlier episodes. Yeah, during the internet age, when people who are age went back and watched shit from our childhood and commented on it, then that's when I found out. But I have to assume, and I guess it's been years since I've watched Secret of the Ooze. But maybe I'll actually go back. But they had to it's use... It's cool for... Uh, Mike to use a sausage slick. Yeah, it's no That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> As a kid, I, probably, I, I, I was all for it. But I have to assume they used their weapons at some point. They do. It's not a lot. Because I know when they fought, I think, against humans, they did, but it was Super Shredder, played by Kevin Nash, I believe. And it was uh, fucking Tozar and fucking Razor, they did. But the most egregious part, if you recall, is when they were stuck in a net. And they said, how do we get out? And they had their swords. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought I was a kid. I was a kid. They were going to rope over my head. I was like, does anyone else realize they were going to rope that? <laughs> how do we get out? I realized the bow staff ain't going to do shit. <laughs> but I think that was the only weapon that they kept was a bow staff. Yeah. 